Hello everyone, here we have another numerical at hand and uh, the numerical number is 2-108 and uh, it states that the load A creates a force of 200 Newton in wire AB. Okay, so there is a load uh, acting at point A which is creating a 200 Newton force in this wire AB. Express this force as a Cartesian vector. Okay, this force you can see is 200 Newton, which is it in scalar form. Okay, and uh, you need to convert this 200 Newton force into the Cartesian vector fo form, which is acting at A and directed towards B. Okay, so first of all, th we'll, if we look at this, uh, if, is this picture of this uh, system? Uh, this is a circular ring, and uh, you can see that uh, they, they basically these are x, y, and z axis. And all these wires are basically converging at this point A. Okay, and you can see that uh, at the different angles it's making at different uh, basically uh, positions of the wire is 120 degrees. Again, this is 120 degrees, and from B to the Y axis it is making an angle of 30 degrees. Okay, but we will be interested in this yellow point. You can see the B point, and we'll be interested in this point, which is the A. Okay. And over here, this is the, they are asking for the origin. So now what we do is that we just magnify this, and we can see that uh, we this uh, force uh, uh, basically again this is our AB uh, uh, wire, and this is the force. Okay, and we are interested in the coordinates of this point. Okay, so we can assume very easily to simplify our calculation that this is our origin. So if this is our origin, this will be the coordinates of A will be zero zero zero. And the coordinates of the B, since this is the origin, we can easily say that uh, the, the basically this is our resultant. One component will be this red arrow, one cos 30, because the radius is 1 meter, making an angle of 30 degrees with the y axis. So this component will be 1 cos 30, and this perpendicular component, which is parallel to the x axis, is 1 sin 30, and the component which is parallel to the y axis is 1 cos 30. So the components of B will be. The component which is parallel to the x-axis is this one, which is 1 sin 30. The component which is parallel to the y-axis is, you can see this, this is our y-axis. So, this component will be uh, 1 cos 30 and the other uh, component which is along the z-axis starting from this origin will be basically 2 meters. So, it is 2. Okay. So, these are our coordinates A and B. So, what he is asking the Cartesian vector uh, force acting on A and directed towards B. So basically we can take uh, on this force uh, wire AB, we can take the position vector AB. So position vector AB means uh, you have to subtract the coordinates of B from the coordinates of A as it is RAB. So it becomes 1 sin 30 minus 0 I, 1 cos 30 minus 0 J and 2 minus 0 K. So it's RAB. If, okay, if you simplify it, RAB becomes 0 0.55 plus 0.86 jj plus 2k. So mod of RAB will be again just 0.5 i the whole square plus 0.866 j the whole square plus 2k the whole square. We get it as 2.236 meters. So now basically in order to transform this scalar force into Cartesian fo uh, form, we have to take the unit vector along AB. So, but the formula for the unit vector AB is RAB over mod of RAB. So it becomes what was RAB? RAB was 0.55 plus 0.866j plus 2k, this one. And what was mod of RAB? We calculated mod of RAB as 2.236 meter. So now we divide this, you will get unit vector AB as 0.2236i plus 0.3873j plus 0.8944k. Okay, so this is our unit vector AB. So if we multiply this unit vector AB with this 200 Newton force, we will get uh, where the actual force in Cartesian vector form as 200 into unit vector AB. So 200 into 0.2236i plus 0.3873j plus 0 0.8944k. 0 so the force 200 Newton in Cartesian vector form will be 44.71i uh, 7i plus 77.5j plus 179k. Okay. Uh, thank you very much and I hope you have a, a very good day.